Hey, my name is Keita Billions, and in this video, I am going to show you how I add and how you can add products to your Square Up account. So, first, you want to log in or you want to create an account if you don't already have an account. So, here's the good thing about Square Up you can add as many products as you want or need to your site for free absolutely free now once you've gotten into your account you want to head you want to tap uh the, the three lines next to home and you want to select online very important because there are several ways that you can add products to your website but online is more effective more efficient whatever you want to call it. it is the best way to add products to your website then once you've select online you want to click site items this is where all of your products will be select create new items and this is where the magic happens so is it a physical product it, is it a digital product you have the option to choose now the thing about this is i don't know how to how the digital parts part work because i've tried it and i just wasn't wasn't successful with that so that hasn't worked for me now i'm uploading a i'm adding a physical product to my website so i select a physical and then i give my product a name which is going to be you know barbie things <laughs> Now let's give your product a price. Whatever you want to, however you price your product, that you put that in the price section. And whenever you want to put that product on sale, you have the sales uh, section right here, and you just uh, you just type that number in twenty dollars, ten dollars, whatever it is. And on your website, it'll cross out sixty five dollars, and it'll show that this item is on sale for ten dollars or whatever you price it as. And then you want to go down and add a description to your product and description is key because you know keywords is everything these days seo soe whatever they want to call it um you know so fill that section in as detailed as possible and then you want to make sure that your your product is going to be visible you have three options visible hidden unavailable now let's go ahead and add images to our product so our customers can know what it is they're purchasing now square does provide you with the option of paying for professional um, product photos so that you're you know you look more legit and clean if that's something that you like you can go ahead and definitely select that i don't need all that and then you want to select how you're going to fulfill the order shipping they can come pick it up if they live down the street local delivery you can go drop it off to them if they don't want to come pick it up i mean if you don't want them to come and pick it up whatever you are comfortable with if your product comes in different sizes or color or whatever you have variations and you have modifiers so you definitely want to go ahead and add that to your items you know to specify so that your customers can specify what it is what size they need what length they need whatever what have you for me my press on nails they come in extra extra small small medium and large so that's what I'm going to add. And then when you're doing it like that, you want to make sure that you put it in order. And the three lines, you know, if you make a mistake, the three lines, you can move it up and down. You can toggle it up and down if you need to. And then here's what it looks like once you have that all set up and ready to go. If, if you know, each product has a different price you definitely want to give it a different price but it allows you to you have to make sure that you put the price in for each 
um, variation. Otherwise, it'll be on the site for free and you'll get all them orders in because it has happened to me you will get all those orders in for free you don't have to ship them out because i definitely you, you know you don't have to cancel it but you don't want to have to waste time canceling orders because you did not put the price in so definitely make sure you put the prices in for each variation now the modifiers allows your customers to choose what color they want red purple blue whatever color it is that you have that item as and if you have your if you have different categories you have the option to put whatever product it is that you're loading to whatever category it is that you have listed on your website now i normally don't do this but it is important um well you, this part you do have to do and it's you ju you're just putting the name of your product right here so it'll be www.yourwebsite slash barbie tings whatever your product name is there and then seo i don't do this but it is important because it does help your product to be ranked in google quote unquote so you definitely want to fill this section out with whatever details you may have now the same thing will apply to your seo description definitely fill that out what i would do is just whatever you put in your description section of your product you just copy and paste that to your seo description that's all of the steps that needs to be completed once you've completed that you can hit save and then view one thing that uh, this thing does is you have to like um, the space at the end of Z in the Barbie Tings, you have to delete that space, otherwise it won't go through. But then you want to save and view. Now let's see what our product look like. What we looking like on the website? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. We legit <laughs> out here in these streets, hunty. Yes. Press on nail. Sixty five dollars. Barbie Tings. What size do you need? Extra small, large. What do you need? We got it so we have added our product to our website i hope that this video was helpful to you for you if it was please make sure you tap the thumbs up button share this video with a friend whoever may might need help with adding a product to their square up site Make sure that you do go back and tap the save button so that your product is saved and ready to be published on your website.